Hello, boys and girls, faculty and staff, and everybody who's watching. This is another week of Principal Read Alouds. I'm Dr. Downs, your principal here at J. Wallace James. Hope you had a wonderful week. So this week, we are going to read Five Little Monkeys Reading in Bed. All right, let's check it out. This is by Eileen Cristolo. And the quiz number for this is 146071. 146071. Can't forget those glasses, my friends. If you wear glasses, please put them on. They help us read, all right? Wow! Ha ha ha! TT ha ha! Sniff sniff! He he! TT! Yikes! Wow! Five little monkeys reading in a bed. When the five little monkeys are ready for bed, their mama reads stories, then kisses each on the head. It's bedtime for monkeys, now turn off the light. Oh, mama, oh, please, one more story tonight. But Mama's too tired, she read more than, than four. Lights out, sweet dreams, she closes their door. One monkey whispers, this book looks so good. If Mama won't read it, then maybe we could. The monkeys start reading, the story is sad. One monkey is weeping, she's feeling so bad. That puppy is lost, it's snowing, oh no, what happens next? Then out come the tissues, they all start to bawl. They sob and they cry till the last page of all. It's such a good ending, their sobs turn to cheers. Their monkeys are loud. You should cover your ears. Look, his dad finds him, hooray, yippee, yay, yay. In fact, they're so noisy, mama runs in. What's all this racket, this chaos, this din? One monkey admits with a guilt-ridden look, we've been reading the very best happy sad book. Yay, oops. Mama raises an eyebrow. What was it I said? Lights out, sweet dreams, no more reading in bed. The one monkey sighs as she turns out the light. I wish we could read this new ghost book tonight. Just look at that goblin, the mean looking ghost. It's those shadowy bats that I like the most. <laughs> one monkey starts hooting an eerie ghost sound. And soon they're all wailing and jumping around. Then a dark spooky shadow appears on the wall, but a knock on their door is what frightens them all. It's the ghost, they all scream, but then, <sighs> Mama walks in. What's all this racket, this chaos, this din? The monkeys all gasp. We thought you were the ghost. This book is so scary, we like it the most. Mama raises an eyebrow. What was it I said? Lights out, sweet dreams, no more reading in bed. One monkey shivers, that book was so creepy. So good, but so scary, I'll never be sleepy. She pulls out a joke book. We've got to be quiet, but the jokes are so funny. In fact, they're a riot. The monkeys try hard not to giggle or laugh, but then there's a joke with a foolish giraffe. <laughs> So they can wear lots of ties? What, giraffes? <laughs> it's so silly, so goofy, they'll start to roar. And then you can guess who flings open the door. Oh yes, it's Mama, she comes storming right in. What's all this racket, this chaos, this din? The monkeys keep giggling, they just cannot quit. Mama picks up their books, I've had it, that's it. She raises an eyebrow, did you hear what I said? Lights out, sweet dreams, no more reading in bed. Well, the monkeys are tired. They're almost asleep when they hear some giggle, then laugh, and then weep. Did you all hear that noise? And just who can it be? Let's sneak down the hall. Can you guess what they see? It's Mama. Oh, Mama, they giggle. What was it you said? Lights out, sweet dreams. No more reading in bed. Those monkeys are sleepy. They head out the door. Just wait till tomorrow, and they'll read some more. That's a great book. Ms. Graffio, our librarian, helped pick this out this week. Thank you, Ms. Graffio. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week. Thank you so much for being part of our J. Wallace James family. Don't forget to be you today and every day. Take care. Bye.